the um, difference under the bottom part and this make another mag which is The draw magazine. The draw magazine. I will just say for this, but this capacity is 30 bullets, or this fits 30 bullets. It doesn't have the rounded one, but is close to be rounded. And this effect so, f yeah, is the the brick itself is not very strong. Yeah, not very strong. It it doesn't really work. But I say that these monks are not halfly bad. The fact that shooting is it's like f you're never gonna reload again. Now I'm not done here yet with the mags. There's more I want to cover. Now I said that you put a red dot. For me, just remove these two mags, like this one right here, and we included ourselves a red dot sight. The red dot sight itself is most likely simple. It's not like my, not other people's. It's my very own, and it's the first design, and I like it. You can see it's a small red dot. You, it's not like it's gonna have been glass since it might be blurry, but, and it might be too big. So, yep, this is the simple red dot I made. Now, after that, we actually have one more left. We'll keep this on for some, like, now, I am not gonna done here without an actual laser sight. So, or, yeah, laser. In here is a simple laser sight. I, I might say it's wrong, but I, I'm just gonna call it laser sight. This one that helps the uh, hip fire and easy to aim. Like, you wanna aim your, um, the head, boom. Aim in the head, boom. Yeah, I I didn't make it very um, realistic. This is the first time again, so yeah, not done yet. And from this, I'm gonna have to remove this top part. I need to remove this this barrel because it's not like we're gonna smitch or swish. I meant so hard. Moving this, this, and this one too. And then we're gonna have this simp this piece that is important. This little piece. And then we add this big boy. Here is my suppressor. The suppressor is very big and no, it's it's a two by yeah and the height is two. It's very flat. But I tried this similar from the PUBG one from the look. So yeah, you cannot see from the red dot, I mean red sight, the iron sight. But if you place this, you can see it over here. And that's why I still keep it. For me to do this, if you look up here, this little piece that I added before is actually the one who supports from making this, um, make it stop. Because it used to be falling before. And how I did it, that is similar to real life. 
it's not like you're gonna have to switch things again you just have to put things together for me you just have to break this brick again brick again oh. and after this it's easy to remove it now oh my god why these things are broken a lot and you can see this is the where the spot I put my suppressor. In fact, it is so simple. Yeah, this has a lot of problems from the inside. But I did make another gun that is changes the way of it. So let me present to you this gun. But wait, I need to place this. And here is my Lego. My Lego Glock 17. Yeah, I made a Glock. Well, it's not a new gun, it's just that I changed the module of it, as you can see. The only things I did change was this. This one, it actually has a free, you can still see the rubber man, but you are able to see what's inside. So if I get my mag, you can see the mag, and this is where it comes out. But without the mag, you cannot see it. And you can see it through. Pretty cool, I ask. This one is a little different. It's not like the one before. This one this one is like a very flap one. Well this one has this um this thing. This one the top part is the where you put your hand. So this way the sliding could be, you know, much further. Or much farther. For the iron sight itself, I got this from someone. Yeah, I'm. I mean, let's we'll just change it. Boom! Now it looks like um, the one from PUBG. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's nothing changed. You can put the um suppressor here but I'm not putting it now because this is a very long video I'll just end it here with the clock so yeah this is a pretty long video I think and I made my M9 in a Glock 17 yeah um, it's technically, this is not the first one. I have made a lot of LEGO guns before. I made a SPAS-12, an M416, an AK-47, and an M16. I made a lot of guns, and I used to have custom guns before, where I can, like, customize my gun into one thing. But that was way back then. One of my bolts... They suck really bad. I don't even like it now. I did made a deagle before. And yeah, the reason why I choose the deagle because the sliding in here has like a support to not make it fall. And that's why I choose the deagle over some guns. The guns in here, it has no support whatsoever. This thing used to be falling before. But I. The thing is, without the bar the barrel is part of this thing before, so it used to be part of this, and not the bottom part, and that's what's making it falling. And I have to make something new about it. And yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video. I uh, made a pretty cool gun. I will. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make a gun next. I mean, really, this there's no idea. I might have to rebuild another gun, but for this, 
this made me discover something and maybe use it again. In the next video, I will not make a Lego gun or nor any random video. This is the inside mechanism of how it works. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more random videos. And I'll see you next time.